here with my buddy Wes. You remember Wes, my professional go-kart racer? So he just turned 14 in March, and uh, he's just out here goofing off. I can't believe his parents let him come out here and hang out with Uncle Merlin. But uh, we're going to teach him how to do some welding, and uh, we got a bunch of trucks to work on. So this morning we're going to pick up a 65 Chevy truck from a customer, and we got to get it running good and do a little bit of work on it. And uh, hopefully we can do a burnout with it later today, but uh, Wes is going to be helping me for the next couple weeks, so he'll be in a lot of my videos coming up. So let's go pick up this truck, see if we can get it back to the house. So, uh, yeah, no tail lights, huh? No license plates. Well, we'll just have Wes drive it. He don't have a driver's license. Exactly. No license plates, no driver's license, no... Uh, so, it had a camper on it at one point. You see this, Wes? All these uh, snaps in here. Yeah. They had a boot on there so you could climb through to the camper. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, man. Well, gas gauge don't work. It's just pegged at full. Still got the original radio. See what we gotta do to get her started. Looks like a later model motor. That marking on the firewall, Jimmy. That's a uh, factory when it goes down the assembly line. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's dump a little bit of this gas in, Wes. So I'm gonna put Wes to work. He's gonna learn about old Chevys. Yeah, what do you think of the color of that, huh? You like that for your go-kart? Yeah. That's some airplane stuff. That's the good stuff. Yeah, that's the, yeah, what is that, about $7 a gallon right now? Yeah, no kidding. We're leaking out of the bottom. Hmm? Yeah, you're leaking. We're leaking. Put it in there a little, what, well, let's see. What do we got? What are we, what are we leaking? We're leaking out of the top, not the bottom. Put that, uh, put that in there a little further. I think it's got a little hose leak down in there. There you go. We're only gonna put a couple gallons in it, just enough to get it home. That spotlight is hideous. <laughs> you know you like that. Well, back in the day, everything was dark, so it was right. kind of cool to have a spotlight, but the thing is like... That's going in the garage. Look at that. Heck yeah. Oh, it works. Dude, like it works. I just turned it on somehow. <laughs> That's probably enough, Wes. We don't want to put too much of that expensive gold in there. I don't know what's in this tank. It scares me. He says it's been sitting five years. Five years with fuel and Havasu? It's bad. Try to get this window down. I 
I'll be in West. You want to try your window and see if it'll go down? Sure. It might be kind of hot in here. Oh, hey, yours works. We got Bondo body filler. We got an extra cushion. Yeah, we'll need that to get out. All right, I'll let you man the... Look at that mirror. I think that mirror's supposed to be up here. What in the Sam hell is that thing doing there? It's supposed to be like here. Oh, it goes into gear. So my second truck that I ever owned when I was, I was probably about 17 was this exact truck. It was a... Uh, C20, 1965, but it was a stick shift. Uh, 327. And uh, it did not have power steering. It was a long bed. Oh yeah, feel those flat spots. But what a fun truck. But mine had factory air conditioning. It was a rare truck. These are cool trucks though. You lower these things down and put tires on them. I've always wanted to put an LS in one of these, so I've actually got enough parts to build one of these. we got lots of spare parts. Whoa, no turn signal. No horn. we got flashers, no, no lights. Speedometer works. Check that out. It says we're uh, doing 50. Does that feel like 50? No. Feels like about... 25. <laughs> 25. Yeah, I think we're about 50% off on that. <laughs> I think the temperature gauge works. The, the amp gauge works. It says it's charging. It's got oil pressure. It's got power brakes. The brakes feel good. It, uh, kind of a sketchy old thing, but I think it'd be a nice old truck fixed up. Yeah. We'll stop down here and see if it'll get a burnout. Hey. Hey, we're trying something. <laughs> All right, so here's how this works. I guess I'll get out first, and then I'll get the handle to you, and then you can get, first you gotta drag it something. Oh, she's hot. Overheating. Oh, I think we blew a hose. I think we blew a hose. Yep. It sounded like I was dragging something. Yep. Was I? Yeah, something something was coming loose. I don't know. Let's see if we can get it to the house real yeah. quick. She's a boiling. Earplugs in. Yeah, something's coming off. Yeah, I need a door handle. There's my window. <laughs> well, eh, we didn't make it very far <laughs> west. <laughs> so much for this old truck. <laughs> okay. It sounds like something is coming apart. It sounds like a wheel's falling off. The passenger rear. Is it the passenger rear? That's what would make the most noise when you went by. Huh. I don't know. I don't see anything. Here, let me roll it 10 feet and you can see it. Hold it. It's the drive line. Roll it forward more. We'll be in the coolant. We've lost our coolant. There you go. Something. Something. Something coming. Oh! Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. I think the, uh, I think the carrier's done fell off and let go. Departed? Yeah, the carrier don't, didn't have no bolts in it or something. Oh. <laughs> So, we've lost our carrier bearing within a block. 
and uh, we didn't we didn't blow a hose, which I can't believe it. But there's a hole right there. Oh wow, <laughs> that's awesome! As soon as I throttled it, I'm like. I smell coolant. Yeah. Wes is like, yep. I was watching it run out the bottom of the truck. I'm like, yeah, that's going to develop. <laughs> it's developed already. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess we'll just hustle it up the hill. So, we're Flintstoning. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't throw that drive line out. <laughs> that's a little rough. <laughs> Jim's picking up parts. He's back there picking up parts in the road. Pondering this here trip from this guy's house, which was just a few blocks. We maybe should have called the tow truck or towed it ourselves. What do you think, Wes? I think we're fine. Yeah, you think we're going to make it? We'll make it. With half, with, with half a truck. <laughs> this is our last hill. <laughs> getting happier, isn't it? Yeah. You hear the dry line? Yeah. It's kind of smoothing out. There's your door handle. Yeah, this is my way out. Yeah. Okay, she's upset. What did you just departed that's after? What, that's what failed. That's what failed. I think there was more to it than that. But <laughs> hey, with this we can put it back together. I don't even dare open the hood. I think he cleared the rust out of the cooling system. Yeah, though. look at that. That that was nasty. That stuff's pretty nasty. Uh, we'll just turn it into a steam engine. We'll put that yeah. back down the carburetor and <laughs> make it uh, yeah. make it motor. Wow! All because of a little rusted hole. There's just a little rusted hole in that. Thermostat. Thermostat. All right, Wes. Have you ever set one of these hoists? I have not. All right. It's pretty easy. Yeah. You see the memes where they fall off all the time? Yeah. I've only dropped one. And uh, it didn't hurt it. So what you want to do, you want to make sure you clear everything, but you put these little foot pegs under there and you slide those arms out. You got to get down on your knees. You got to get dirty. You're going to slide that out to where it'll catch underneath the frame. You see the frame there? I don't think. I would have. say slide that under a little more if it'll go. Will it go out more? Nope. Okay. All she got. So bring it back towards me just a little. There you go. Now you come and do this one here. And uh, this one can go underneath of that swing arm if you want. See the swing arm on the axle? It'll reach that. That's fine. Lift up on it. It'll slide easier. Actually, let's put it on the frame. So pull it back towards you a little. There you go. Slide the arm for There you go. Right there. Let's go do the other side. Okay. Good news is it's got turbo 400 in it. Turbo 4, yeah, see this is plenty. Bad news is these uh, bolts, oh, it broke. Did it break? Was this welded on there? That's spot welded. I think that's supposed to be spot welded to that. But we had a... 
We had a situation that developed after Wes coaxed me into doing a burnout. Yeah. Blame it on me, huh? Yeah, blame it on Wes. But that thing failed. That piece of Chinese junk was supposed to be spot welded and it broke. The bearing's still good. We still have the rubber. Maybe we'll try to tuck it back together and put it up there and tack weld it. Right here next to this fuel line that's leaking. <laughs> Look at this exhaust. Going right into the fender. <laughs> Love it. Good observation. Love it. Love it. Yeah. That's because it's tied up over there. And the wiring that's well melted to the... <laughs> What's it tied to? This is Nothing. No, this is not tight. This is just... See if we can put this back together and tack it up there so that it doesn't uh, thrash the drive line. Look at the size of that drive line. Itty that bitty, thing huh? is little tiny tiny. Yeah, we can take that off, see if we can get this exhaust down. It has a hanger here that we just need to bolt back in, I think. You ready, boy? I am. You don't look very ready. You're pulling the trigger already. <laughs> you got 15 feet of wire out there now. So what do you do when you got wire out like that? Cut it about. Let me show you a little trick. We don't cut wire around here. We cut it off like that. Yeah, this has got a pretty sensitive trigger on it. So what I want you to do is just kind of weld the ends of these. And uh, it bolts, obviously, to this upper plate. But just, just put a little booger weld on there. How'd you do? What does it look like? Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Damn, you are learning something, ain't you? Yeah. Paying attention in shop class. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, the other side. Same thing. Right. Just put a little, uh, little weld all along the back and don't weld it to the top. I started 66th on the first <laughs> lap. I got up to fifth. Good. Fifth place from 66th. That's that's saying something right there. That's like you gotta be pretty proud of that. Yep. That's that's pretty cool. So yeah. Wes is uh, not new to motor vehicles and motors and things like that. He's just never messed with uh, legit cars and trucks. All right, tighten that hose clamp up. Make sure that's reversed. Perfect. All right, all we need now is uh, water. <laughs> Soup? It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. I'm glad I took the thermostat out because it's look. Oh that. wow! Look down in there. Oh, dude, <laughs> that's enormous. Yeah, there's like a <laughs> boogers in there. There's like something growing in there. Yeah, it was a nice radiator. Let's say that was a nice radiator. <laughs> yeah, it might be kind of hard to boil that out. In fact, I'm wondering before we fill it. I wonder if I ought to try steaming it. <laughs> Maybe I ought to try. Hitting it with the steam cleaner just a All tiny. Right. Pull this. up, pull the bottom hose off and hit it with the steam cleaner. That's some big crusties in there, man. That bottom hose will be easy enough to get off. So yeah, yeah we'll back it up to the steam cleaner okay. and try that. So yeah, we're gonna steam this radiator out and then we'll put some water in it and we'll be back with you here doing a burnout. Maybe. Sure, you want one of these old Chevy trucks, kid? I do. <laughs> well, it's got we an LS in it. An LS. 
Push the limits. You got a tall order there. Yeah. Kid wants a short bed, a big back window, an LS. Well, I guess he knows what he wants. Probably wants AC too, huh? Yeah, you probably want oh, air. Yeah. You want you want the doors to lock <laughs> at five miles an hour. good it don't have a it don't have an HEI and it. it's got points it's probably floating the points oh. <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, do a little old adjust. school yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna teach Wes what points are do you know what points are I don't do you know what a condenser is nope oh boy you have year in for an education <laughs> today so we're gonna get coolant in it we're gonna get this radiator back together and then we're gonna teach Wes how to dwell a set of points so stay tuned for that Jimmy, yes, man in the camera right now. Teach Wes a couple tricks here. can't read these numbers anymore so we're going to be looking at the scale which one of those says eight cylinders the bottom one that one says six the red one does the top what underneath does it say eight yeah so that yep. bottom scale right there we're looking for 29 degrees on this yeah. when we adjust it what we're going to do first is we're going to, so you go negative on your carburetor somewhere there, and then you go to the negative side of the coil. The coil has a negative and a positive side. This magic window allows us access to this little Allen right here and the reason this is wood handled because it'll shock the shiz out of you if you're not careful and somewhere I have a really nice one on a speedometer cable piece but I can't find it that's an antique it's been a day or two since I've used it
a tractor. same tube. At least they're consistent, huh? That's crusty and hard. <laughs> yeah, they are consistent for sure. Consistently missing parts. Well, put that back. Find one of my junkers and we'll, we'll try to do something here. going back on Jim that hose is going back on there so we need something to plug that with what do I got for one now? I found one this 20 cent piece of tubing goes deep within the carburetor here on the side because there is a hole right there and then we'll plug it And then we'll start it again and see if we can set the points. Maintaining temperature now. 
ready to test drive this jewel. You ready, Jim? Oh yeah. You got your phone on you? <laughs> somebody, better, somebody better bring a phone. Somebody better bring a phone. We got no gas. We got Hello? So this truck is a factory automatic. Wow. What that means is it has a low floor. So normally they have this big old hump right here. This actually has a low floor in it. So this is a factory automatic. This steering column is factory factory. Super cool. Horn still won't work though. It's gonna need All a starter. That timing. It's gonna need a starter. <laughs> three yeah. falling, the Look at zero's that. there. Oh yeah, the zero's <laughs> laying over here. The three is hanging by this thread that came down from here. <laughs> That stuff glows in the dark. Oh, feel that power? It's like it's <laughs> running out of gas. Taking it down the driveway. <laughs> Look at that fuel gauge. It kind of works. Looks like a tack <laughs> When I hit the gas, it goes down. It's like, as soon as we hit the gas, it's like... Well, that's any Chevy. <laughs> customers get that going so when you get your license what's going to be your first truck or car i'm hoping it's a are you c10 gonna, are you gonna you, you like the c10s i like c10s so I, I picture wes driving one of those little fruitcake cars like we saw in that garage yeah right yeah. you see those two toyotas in there? oh yeah the yeah, supras fast and the, the racers furious. absolutely so what what are those, those are fast and the furious right there that's yeah Toyota Supras Those with Supras, uh, mid '90s, third gen. Yeah, with uh, what's that stupid little two JZ motor? Yeah, yeah, six yeah, cylinder. Yeah. yeah, fast. Worth as much as the house. I picture I picture Wes doing something like that, but you yeah. know, Wes is kind of different because he doesn't play video games. He actually goes out, and goes out it. and races go karts, and right? Does fun yeah, stuff. Your dad, your dad would actually let you have a truck yeah. or, or a car. Yeah. Before you get your license. Yeah. What did your mom say about that? I don't know. He didn't you don't know. ask her. <laughs> <laughs> he don't. He don't ask for permission easier, from all. Easier to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. You know what, Wes? If uh, if I was to make you an offer, yeah. This is this is between me, you, and the fence post. I'll clear it with your dad because I know Jimmy can get stuff done with Shh. with uh, with old Brian. Um, I have enough stuff to build one of these trucks. Yeah. Okay. I have. I have a long bed three quarter ton frame. I have enough stuff we can either shorten a long bed or we can put together a short bed. And I have enough stuff to make a big back window cab. If I was to give you all the parts, you might have to come up with uh, a few little weird things, windshield stuff like that, but we'll make your dad pull the money out and buy that. He can pull that out of your. Uh, your uh, Race, racing champion fun. sponsorship fund. <laughs> there you fund. go, there you go. Anyway, um, the thing is, is you have to build it. All right. I, Jimmy and I will help you. Cheerlead you. And that's we'll me. coach you. And we'll try to keep you from doing anything that's going to kill you or hurt you, but we want <laughs> you to build the truck. Sweet. How's that sound? I'll do it. Deal. So... I have enough stuff to make one of these trucks. It'll be a 65, short bed, big back window, out of a three quarter ton truck. I've got a motorhome cab. I've got a big back window cab because I've been gonna build a big back window short bed for a long time. So I've collected enough parts to actually build three trucks. So what I'm gonna do, Wes is 14 years old. 
by the time he gets his driver's license, he'll have this truck done. And we're going to film it all right here and YouTube it. So you guys will be able to watch his struggles. And Wes is pretty handy. He's pretty mechanical. He's been racing go-karts. He works on his own go-kart. But he's never built a car. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, but he's eager to learn. And in today's world, I would give anything for somebody that's eager to learn. These kids that sit at home and play on their damn iPhones and their computers and don't actually get out in the world and do shit, they irritate me beyond. Like, Jimmy and I talk about it. It's All the like... Time. It's frustrating. Point, point zero zero one percent of the kids nowadays are like Wes, where they want to actually go do something. So, stay tuned. We're going to uh, probably dig a long bed frame out. We're going to work on this truck today and try to get a few things done to where it'll run and drive around the yard. Um, we definitely want to do a burnout with it, huh, Wes? Oh, yeah. You think it'll spin the tires? Did we spin the tires in the gravel back there? You did. We did? Just a little. We were trying <laughs> so hard. Like, I was it. Might have it. it might have posse because it looked oh, like they were both trying to bite. Maybe that was our problem. Yeah. We just got posse trash. We gotta, we're going to have to, <laughs> have wet, to, the, work, have have to earn wet the road down. <laughs> so that was it. when our driveline failed was yes. after our burnout, burnout attempt. attempt. <laughs> It's like we we asked for that one. We could smell coolant before that though. <laughs> so yeah, we were we were pushing it. Anyway, um, we're gonna spend the rest of this week getting Wes's long bed frame out, and he's gonna have the frame shortened. Um, we have a front axle that Jimmy and I pulled a long time ago. Um, I'll go ahead and donate that axle. It's a, basically a full front suspension to put disc brakes under the front. And uh, they come out of like an 82 Chevy. Yep. So we junked that when Jimmy's brother was here. Yep. Um, but we'll get disc brakes under the front. We're gonna turn it from a three quarter ton into a half ton. And Wes is gonna learn about shortening the frame and we're gonna make him do it right. It'll be cool. Gonna... We'll put uh, fish plates on it and do it actually right. Because if he builds this truck right, by the time he's our age, if he hangs on to this truck, it'll be worth an exorbitant amount of money so stay tuned <laughs>